CS uh, tutorial on YouTube and uh, in this tutorial uh, we'll be we'll be creating a, um, a player health script uh, we'll be just attaching it and uh, using uh, and we'll also um, yeah I want to explain the script of, uh, of zombie brief today because I we won't have time for that but I have a new gun for you and that's a Barrett 50 caliber here it has a funny scope but uh, it's quite good actually and it zooms in uh, if you I'll be including <coughs> start first first we'll create a empty game object create empty we'll set it its position to 0 0.5 so it will be right in front of our screen that's the default position for from the screen in the unity if you set it to 0 0.6 it won't work so 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and we want to add a GUI here Wanna du duplicate this game object? Duplicate it and set both to unactive. And add to one. Uh, go to Google and type in "blood screen PNG," and it will throw you a bunch of PNG pictures of blood screen of blood on your screen. And choose two that are similar to each other. And if I go to mine two, I have. Uh, low health median gallery and uh, they are both from the same author just uh, one is a bit more um more more bloody and if i s open w if i set to active the first one as you can see it looks like this it's in front of our screen if i set active the second one it's a bit more bloody and if i set active the both it's even more bloody so yeah let's start um, first uh, as you can see now we have our blood screens but we need a script to make something of it if we go to our first person control and attach the script I'll be including in the description it's called player help I'll be just quickly explain, explain the script because we don't have time uh, what this script does is when the health reaches uh, a certain amount, uh, in this case it's um, 80, uh, the first uh, blood screen screen will be enabled, so you'll see it in front of your screen. And when the, sc uh, the health is equal to 20, another blood screen will be enabled, so it will be more bloody if we lost health. And when our health reaches zero, it will call a dead function, and in the dead function, we'll play a default animation on the player, uh, wait for 0 0.1.5 seconds, and uh, we'll stop the player animation then, and we'll wait for another four seconds, and load, uh, load the scene that you want to use as your death scene. So to do, uh, to make uh, this happen, go to your uh, file uh, and build settings and add your s death scene into the build settings by dragging it from your assets if you have it on assets uh, search your name of your scene and drag it in or add current uh, by adding your current scene into the build settings so uh, yeah that's that's it and I have you must change the name here of the of your so if I open this up I'll quickly just open it um, where I have it. Okay. Hmm. Wait a bit for more of develop. Uh, it takes a while.
come on. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, miracle. Okay, just please start or it will uh, like takes more than to start unity oh my god fucking mono develop what the fuck is it okay and here in player health change the name in the brackets here uh, to whatever name you uh, your s uh, to name of your scene you want to load just uh, keep this uh, keep this uh, parentheses here and don't mess with that so okay that's it for the player just drag in okay we have dragged and apply your death scripts I'll be applying this one as a second cause it's uh, and I'll be um, dragging the player as the so it will play its animation and uh, you can do whatever animation you play by going to your first person controller add a component animation and uh, you add an animation you uh, animate the player uh, if you want him to fall like just rotate him or something you want to play on your death scene and make sure it's long 1.5 seconds if you don't want it to be long 1.5 seconds go to your player health script and change the 1.5 seconds to whatever length your animation is uh, and yeah that's that's it for the player now go to your uh, enemy and uh, add him a damage script a uh, damage script I have right here is called enemy damage and if I drag the enemy damage here as you can see the damage is set to 0 0.5 set this to 1 because otherwise it won't work I don't know why but when I made this script it just didn't, didn't work with uh, less than uh, 1 damage it works 1 and above so yeah I, when we'll enter our player will enter the collider it will uh, deal the uh, da damage which is 1 in our case uh, it will deal it like rapidly and it will send this message to our uh, health script and it will uh, it will take the damage in this case one uh, rapidly from our health script and that, that, that's it just add this to every single one of your enemies I have here like I have um, I have three enemies here and I'll set its damage to one for all of them. And if I play, if I play <laughs> case is just a different scene I'm <laughs> I made a few years ago <laughs> no years a few months ago yeah okay let's mess around a bit <laughs> sniper rifle so yeah guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed fuck yeah yes uh, that's it because I forgot some